Before you begin, make sure your motor is trimmed all the way up. Now you're ready to get started installing your T-top boat cover. To begin, remove the strap that comes wrapped around your cover by unclipping the buckle. Once you've done that, unroll your cover, locate the zipper, and unzip your cover. Now, if your boat doesn't have a bar beneath the front of the T-top, you can use the strap that you just unbuckled from around the cover to create a horizontal attachment point. Once it's secure, tighten the strap and tie off the loose webbing. Using the additional strap included with your order, repeat the previous step on the aft of the T-top. Now that your connection points are set up, locate the royal blue strap attached to your cover and fasten it to the center of the horizontal bar or strap on the front of the T-top. If your boat has a bow roller or an anchor pulpit, place the nose of the cover over it first and then attach to the T-top. Next, find the two black straps located on either side of the royal blue strap and fasten them to the framework as well. If you haven't yet, place the nose section of the cover over the bow. On the nose of the cover is a royal blue pull tab. Use this to secure the strap attached to it through the U-bolt of the boat. Once it's secure, pull the strap tight and tie off the excess webbing. If you purchase sandbags, find the black pull tab on the opposite side of the zipper and attach one here. After it's securely attached, gently drop the bag over the outside of the boat. If you're not using sandbags, simply drape the cover over the outside of the boat. You can then do the same on the opposite side. Now that the bow of the cover is secure, begin draping the cover over the outside of the boat while you work your way toward the aft. Once you reach the rear of the T-top, attach the next black strap to the framework. Next, use both hands to toss the cover like a cast net over the motor. If you purchase sandbags, find the rear black pull tab and attach one here. Gently drop the cover over the side of the boat just as you did on the bow. Locate the tab on the top of the motor and make sure it's centered on the motor. Then take a 10-foot strap and toss the strap so that it wraps beneath the foot of the motor. Don't worry, this may take a few tries. Once you have it securely in place, run the strap through the loop and clip to secure, but don't tighten this strap. On the other corner of the aft, Attach a sandbag and drop it the same way you did on the opposite side of the motor. If you did not purchase sandbags, simply drape the corner so that it falls outside of the boat. Now, attach the remaining rear connecting straps to the horizontal framework or the strap you place beneath the T-top. Drape any remaining edges of the cover over the side of the boat. At this point, you can now connect the zipper and zip about one-third of the way down. Once you've done this, trim the motor all the way down. This will cause the rear of the cover to become taut. Now inspect the attachments along the T-top and tighten all of the straps. As you step out of the boat, continue zipping the remaining portion of the zipper. At the bottom of the zipper, you'll find a rope with loops at both ends. Slide one end of the rope through a loop and draw the rope tight. Make a knot at the end of the rope that's easy to untie. If you like, you can cut the remaining rope and burn the end. Now 
confirm that the cover is securely fastened over the bow, rub rails, aft corner, and motor. If the cover is too loose, re-enter the boat to adjust the webbing straps. And that's all there is to fitting your new T-Top boat cover.